talk to Pirmin Reim from Milo Networks. You're a startup uh, and you have uh, audio recognition. It's like in the iBeacon area, right? But different. Exactly. Uh, same, same, but different somehow. Uh, we also uh, offer technology to uh, get in touch with your customers in the store. However, we do it different, really. We don't use iBeacons, which are costly to install, and not every smartphone can use them. We use inaudible sounds, which can be transmitted to your store using no hardware at all, and they reach all of your customers. So how does it work? You have an audible sound, an, a non-audible sound that is sound that is in the store. Exactly. We we have inaudible sounds which we mix into existing uh, radio companies' um, uh, radio signals. There are special companies to do that in for supermarkets, and we're working with them so they can, like, by the push of a button, send all those inaudible sounds to all of the retail aus outlets. It doesn't matter if it's ten, hundred, or thousand. We can reach them all by push of a button. So and then these signals are emitted in the in the store. And as soon as um, a customer opens an app which supports our technology, then we access the microphone and thereby we, uh, we, we can determine whether a customer is in the store. Basically, it works like Shazam. That's the easiest example, just sound recognition. So you need an app to be open where your technology is installed. Exactly. For now, we need, uh, that's why we're partnering in Germany with a lot of big applications which are used in the retail sector to enable that so that we grab people where they, where they already are, like in the big shopping applications in Germany and all that kind of stuff. But the app has to be, has to be open. For us, it's actually an advantage because especially in Germany, we see that uh, there's a lot of concerns about privacy. So if my mom walks in the supermarket and she gets an IP message and she doesn't know where it comes from, she'll be like disturbed. However, if you actually engage with, the, with an application which, uh, has the, uh, which has allowed this kind of technology, then it's way different and you're expecting something. And we see that this really uh, is a benefit for the user and does not scare him. And your startup company, is your technology uh, ready and live? Exactly. We are uh, currently in the last phases of the testing. Next year, beginning of next year, there will, a nationwide, uh, will be a nationwide rollout of our technology with a partner I cannot yet announce, but uh, we are really happy to have it. It's going to be a nationwide thing, so for us it's... Uh, so you have a, a retailer as a partner, or what kind of company? Exactly. We have a retailer and an app also, like the retailer can use it for his own app, but also there will, an, uh, will be an app partner which has a lot of reach. So uh, and they're going to use it together. Okay. So in this example, I'm a I'm a consumer. I walk into this store. What what happens? Um, if you open the app of uh, the partner application, you're gonna uh, you receive some uh, points just for walking in the store. So that's basically some kind of shopkick approach to it. Uh, and in, in a loyalty program that the retailer already has. Exactly, in a loyalty program that the retailer already has. Um, in the retailer's app, there will be just uh, welcome messages in the first place, and there will also be like targeted apps. It. Like promotions. And exactly, promotions. Or also actions, you need to pay, take a picture of this or that? Uh, that's not yet, we're starting slow. <laughs> what's, your, what's your dream? What's your plan for the future? Our dream is basically that one day um, you're scrolling through Facebook in the store and the retailer has also a channel to reach you on Facebook. That would be, would be a dream for us, to really transform the way uh, people are reached in stores for retailers. Now you're looking for investors? Also, yeah. Of course, we're a startup. We have received investments in, in Germany already. But as I said, now we are kind of want to switch the gears between being a startup and becoming a real company. And for that, it helps if you achieve uh, another round of funding. How big is the team at this moment? Uh, we're basically a really small team, just the five of us, mostly tech, and my co-founder Martin and I taking care um, of sales, basically. Uh, we just hired another sales guy who's really experienced in the field. So that's basically, that's basically it. What is your tip for retailers that want to start in this uh, audio business, this kind of technology? Um, don't, don't be scared of failing the first time, I would say. Um, that's the main thing, I'd say, which is holding all this kind of technology back. I mean, customers are, I guess, a little bit more open if you do it right. So if you respect their privacy and are transparent about what you do. So that would be my message. Just uh, be open about it uh, and try it out. Thank you very much. Thanks.